Hi everyone, this is Mohit. I am a ServiceNow MVP. I have been there in ServiceNow space for over nine years now. Today, I am here to give a demo on one of the coolest features of Now Assist, which came out in Xanadu release. I am talking about analyst, analytics generation. What we can do with analytics generation? With this feature, we have the ability to convert our thoughts into visualization, which means we can talk to now assist and can ask it to create a report or a chart or a list for us. So let's see how we can do that in our instance. We have to click on now assist icon. Let me pin this. Then we have to click on create a data visualization. Once we do that, it will ask us the prompt which we are looking for. Let's start with something basic. List of active problems. And we have it. We have a uh, few options. We can directly add it to the dashboard or we can view the details. Let's see what it gives in view details. So once we click on view details, we can see our condition which we have provided active true and we want a list on problems table. We have that with us. Now let's click on add to dashboard and it has been added to the dashboard. Okay, let's give it another try. For that, we have to reset our conversation. Let's try something Difficult this time. Create a data visualization. Number of incidents with reassignment count more than one. Boom. We have that information. We can see the details. It gives us the conditions reassignment count more than one. It is on the incident table and it is giving us the score here. Let's click on add to dashboard and we have this on our dashboard. Well, everyone is speaking about Gen AI and I do like it a lot, but I did like one of one more feature uh, in Xanadu release, which is really helpful for the developers. You all must be aware of this, that we were having ECMAScript enabled only on scoped applications. But we can access that now in our global applications also. For example, let me just create a business tool. click new click on advanced and let's go to the script section can you see here there is a uh, toggle button which enables ECMAScript 2021 or ES12 which is available for global application scope also we can disable it or we can enable it Thank you.